horrors. My heart's thumping so loud, I can't hardly breathe. <sighs> Toto? Toto? Oh, <laughs> come here, Toto. No need to be scared anymore. She ain't following us. I wouldn't let her hurt you, no how. There you go. Did she hurt you? Well, she tried to, didn't she? Oh, Toto, she must be the meanest old woman that ever was. Let's go tell Annie M and Uncle Henry. They'll take care of her. Annie M! Annie M! Annie M! Dorothy, please, we're trying to count. Annie M, just listen to what Miss Ghost did to Toto. Dorothy, we're busy. Oh, but Annie M, she hit him. Don't bother us now, honey. You see, this old incubator's gone bad, and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Oh, but Annie M, Mrs. Gulch hit Toto right over the back with a rake just because she says he gets in her garden and chases her nasty old cat every day. Dorothy, please. Oh, but he doesn't do it every day, just once or twice a week. And he can't catch her old cat anyway. And now she says she's going to get the... Dorothy! Oh, Uncle Henry, can't we do something? I'm doing something right now, honey. Just keep out of our hair. Oh, all right. Who was the genius that suggested we move the wagon before the wheel was on? It ain't so heavy with one less. That makes sense, don't it? Sense or no sense. When I lift her up, you two shove her on. Ooh. Guys, 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 come oh, on. Oh. Woo. Zeke, Hickory, no Miss Ghost did it, Toto. I swear they made this new wheel smaller than the other three. She tried to kill him. Bigger, smaller. Get it on there before my arms are pulled clean out of their sockets. I ain't a statue, you know. I ain't made of iron. <sighs> to me. Don't you care about Toto? Pivot, pivot. I hope you got my finger. Well, why don't you get your finger out of the way? Hunk, what am I going to do about Miss Gulch? Dorothy, you ain't using your head about Miss Gulch. Ain't you got no brains? Well, sure I have brains. Then why don't you use them? When you come home, don't go by Mrs. Gulch's place. Then Toto won't get in her garden and you won't get in no trouble, see? Hurry up and get that horse hitched to that wagon. We got a parcel of lumber to haul into town before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. Zeke, what am I going to do? Well, for starters, don't let that old gulch heifer try and buffalo you. She ain't nothing to be afraid of. You just got to stand up to her, that's all, with a little courage, a little grit. Well, I'm not afraid of her. Now that's what I like to hear. You got to keep your head up, stick your chest out, and next time she squawks, you stroll right up to her and spit in her eye. That's what I'd do. Would you really? Sure I would. Through life, you gotta walk tall and shoot straight, and then you got no reason to be scared of nothing and nobody. Oh, 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 are you all right? What are you trying to do, kill a guy? How could you be so cruel? It's just a rib, Dorothy. Can't you see how wide he is? You really scared him. Who was scared? You were scared. If you was a jackrabbit, you'd be in the next county by now. Hear, hear, what's all this jabber whopping when there's work to be done? I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of a job before they know it. Oh, uh, we were just having a little fun, Miss Gale. A farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go join a circus. You might just do that. Be a strong man. See the world. Well, don't start posing for it now. Hear, hear, can't work on an empty stomach. Have some cookies. Gosh, Miss Gale. Just baked. Thanks. Well, well, you don't have to sit down to eat them. Get that wagon hitched up. And Zeke, go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Really, Annie M? Do you know what Miss Gold said she was going to do to Toto? Dorothy, dear, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Well, I... Now just help us out today and find a place where you won't get into any trouble. A place where there isn't any trouble? I suppose there is such a place, Toto. There must be. It's not somewhere you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away, behind the moon, beyond the rain. When all the world was a hopeless jungle and the raindrops tumbled all around Heaven opens a magic lane When all the clouds darken up the skyway there's a rainbow highway to be found Leading from your Behind the sun 
just a step behind the rain. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard. That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Birds fly Birds fly over the rainbow Why then oh why can't I Gale, is that you skulking by the barn? I never skulked in my life, Miss Gulch, and I ain't about to start now. Well, I need to speak to you and your wife right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? Why, what's Dorothy done? What's she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. You mean she bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog. Afternoon, Miss Gulch. I just made a fresh batch of cookies, if you mind to sit a while. Oh, I'm afraid I have no appetite, Mrs. Gale. Indeed, I'm so shaken by the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog, I may never eat again. If you don't eat, you'll waste away, and I'd hate to see you dwindle. Dorothy! Could you bring Toto out here a minute? I'm sure if Dorothy's done anything to upset you, she'll only be too glad to apologize as best she can. Oh, it's gone beyond apologies, Mrs. Gale. I have laid an official complaint with the county sheriff. Was he sober? <laughs> Dorothy, Miss Gulch here seems very upset. That dog is a menace to the community. That's not true. Oh, as an act of public service, young woman, I am taking the dog to the sheriff and making sure that he's destroyed. Destroyed? Oh, Toto? Oh, you can't. You mustn't. And yeah, Uncle Henry, you won't let her, will you? Of course we won't. Will we, Em? Oh, Annie Em, please. Toto didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one who ought to be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. You hear how sorry the child is. Surely if she promises to give your place a wide berth. If you don't hand the dog over this very moment, I'm bringing a lawsuit that'll take your whole farm. There are laws protecting folks against dogs that bite. Well, how would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's really gentle. With gentle folk, that is. Oh, well, that's for the sheriff to decide now, isn't it? Here. This is the order allowing me to take him, unless you wish to go against the law. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, what's it say, Henry? Just what she says. You gotta hand him over, Dorothy. Oh, no, I won't let you! This here is the basket that I'm taking him in, unless you wish to go against the law. No! No, no, I won't let you take him! You go away or I'll bite you myself! Dorothy! You wicked old witch! Annie and Uncle Henry, don't let her take him! Don't let her take him! Please! Stop her! It's no use running, Dorothy. 
Jeffrey, I thought you were my friend. He is your friend. We all are. You can't fight the law, honey. Some things are bigger than all of us. Let me have him, Dorothy. No, no, please, please. Put him in the basket, Henry. No, no, Uncle Henry. That's more like it. <laughs> Oh, Myra Gulch, just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you just what I thought of you. And well now, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. Well, I can. So if you don't want to hear it, you better pedal your carcass off my land. I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, Henry Gale. Just remember, I have friends in high places. Well, why don't you climb on your broomstick and go visit them? Gets that horse just to that wagon yet? Nearly done, Mr. Gale. Nearly ain't good enough. You get it done right now. The sky's getting darker every minute. Come inside, honey. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. If you really love me, you wouldn't have let Toto go. She had an order from the sheriff, Dorothy. What'd you expect us to do? Wave a wand and make it disappear? So you could have tried at least. And you, you stood there like you were stuffed or something. I, I just couldn't think of anything. I'm sorry. One mean old woman and you're afraid of her? I'm sorry. It weren't my place to interfere. You worst of all. You stopped Toto from getting away. I just, I just hate you. Oh, don't say that, Dorothy. You make me feel terrible inside. Like my heart was all tore out. I don't care. I never want to see any of you ever again. Toto was the only friend I had in the world. I don't got no one to talk to, no one to play with. I'll never see him again as long as I live. <gasps> Toto! Oh, Toto, darling! You came back! You got away! You got away from that horrible woman! You wonderful dog. Oh, but they'll be coming back for you any minute. We've got to get away. We've got to run away. We need food for me and a bone for you, and we're getting far, far away from here, and we ain't ever coming back. Here, doggy, doggy. Where is that dreaded animal? Here, doggy, doggy. I asked you to get off my land, Miss Gulp. I did, but the dog got away. He can't have enjoyed your company much. Where the little girl is, that's where I'll find the dog. Kindly bring her out here. You never give up, do you? Dorothy! Dorothy! Oh, she's not in the house, Henry. And that fresh batch of cookies is missing. And my picture from the mantle, that's gone too. Sounds like you've got a runaway on your hands. Well, if she's on the road, I'll find her. Then I'm taking the dog back for good. If you're so anxious to have it, you sure looked after it better. Don't blame me. The catch on the basket's faulty. Last time I buy anything from a charity bazaar. If we're done, it were best it be done equally on both sides. Oh, well, 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 house guests, huh? And who might you be? Oh, oh I... no, don't tell me. You're, you're traveling in disguise. Oh, no, that's not right. You're going on a visit. Oh, no, I'm wrong. You're, you're, you're running away. How'd you guess? Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. Now. Why are you running away? Ah, uh, uh, don't tell me. They, they don't appreciate you at home. They, they don't understand you. You want to see other lands, big cities, big mountains, and big oceans. Why, it's just like you could read what was inside of me. Well, it is my trade, my calling. See it on the side of my conveyance. Oh, Toto, that's not polite. We haven't been asked yet. He's perfectly welcome, as one dog to another, huh? <laughs> now. Where were we? Oh, Professor, why can't we go with you to see all the crown heads of Europe? Oh, do you know any? Oh, yes, the thing, of course. Well, I never do anything without consulting my crystal first. Here, have a seat right there. Now, make yourself comfortable as I conjure out of the air, out of thin air. This magic 
authentic, genuine crystal used by the priests of Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt. And when Cleopatra first saw the coming of Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, and so on and so on. But you better hold out your hands, my child, to help me be better in tune with the infinite. Yes, that's good. Now, close your eyes, my child, for a moment, to help me see better into the future. Yes. We can't do these things without looking out into the future. Oh, that's, that's, that's perfect. Yes, now, you may open them. We'll gaze into the crystal. Ah, what's this I see? It's, it, it's a house with, with a picket fence. That's our farm. Yes, there's, seen, there, there's a woman. She's wearing a polka dot dress. Her face is careworn. Well, that's a &M. Well, yes, her, her name is Emily. That's right. What's she doing? Well, I, I, I can't quite see why she's crying. Oh. It seems someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Well, why would anyone do that? I don't know, but it's someone she loves very much. Someone she's taken care of, and someone she's helped in sickness. Oh, well, I had the measles once, and she stayed right by me every minute. Mm -hmm. That was when I was very small. She doesn't care about me at all now, and I don't care about her. Well, that's not what the crystal says. They were going to take Togo, and she did nothing to stop them. Well, I don't see any of that in the crystal. All I see is a woman who does the best she can and misses you something terrible. Well, what's she doing now? Yes, well, she's... What, what's this? She's, she's putting her hand on her heart. She's, she's dropping down on the bed. Oh, you don't suppose she could be sick, do you? I've got to get to her right away. What's this? I thought you were going to come along with me. Oh, no, I've got to get to her right away. Bye, Professor Marvel, and thanks a lot. Goodbye. Safe journey. Poor kid. Hope she gets home all right. There's a storm blowing. A whopper. Get those horses loose! Find Hickory! Hickory! Doggone it, Hickory! It's a twister! It's a twister! There she blows! It's headed straight for us! Last time one of these struck, it tore the big barn clean out of the ground and left a cow on the telegraph poles! I cut free the horses! Good man! Dorothy! Dorothy! We ain't found her then! Oh no, she's somewhere out in the storm! Dorothy! Dorothy! It's getting awful close! Come on, everybody, in the storm cellar. Oh, we can't leave her out there, Henry. There's nothing else we can do for him except pray for us all.
photo? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. must be over the rainbow. Oh, now, now I know we're not in Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? Well, I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Oh, well, is that the witch? Who, Toto? Toto's my dog. Well, I'm a little muddled. The munchkins called me because a new witch has just dropped her house on the Wicked Witch of the East. And there's the house, and here you are. And those legs are all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. And so, what the munchkins want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Oh, but I've already told you I'm not a witch at all. Witches are old and ugly. What was that? The munchkins, they're laughing because I'm a witch. I am Glinda, the Witch of the North. You are? Well, I beg your pardon, but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. The munchkins are happy because you have freed them from the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh, if you please, what are munchkins? The little people who live in this land. And blue is their favorite color. This is Munchkin Land, and you are their national heroine, my dear. If all right, you may all come out and thank her. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young lady who fell from a star. She fell from the sky, she fell very far, and Kansas, she says, is the name of the star. no miracle what happened was just this the wind began to switch the house to pitch and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch just then the witch dissatisfying itch went flying on her broomstick thumbing for a hitch the house began to pitch the kitchen took a slick she began to City, in the county of the land of Oz, 
I welcome you most regally. But we've got to verify it legally. To see. To see. If she. If she. Is morally, ethically, spiritually, physically. Positively, absolutely. Undeniably and reliably dead. She's not only merely dead, she's really most sincerely dead. Friends, this is the day of independence for all the munchkins and their descendants. If any? Yes, let the joyous news be spread, the wicked old witch at last is dead. The witch, the wicked witch, ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Wake up, you sleepy head, rub your eyes, get out of bed. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. She's gone, friend, the goblins go below, below, below your home. Let's open up and see, and ring the bells out, ding dong, merry yo. Sing it low, let it know. She was dead. That was her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. This is the Wicked Witch of the West, and she's much worse than the other one was. Where's my sister? Yonder she lies. Where? There. All right. Who's the smart? I like that turn my sister into a house. Was it you, Glinda? Not the house. Under the house. Under the house? Oh, it was my fault. I'm so sorry my house dropped on her. Dropped your house on my sister? How could anyone be so unbelievably clumsy? Look closer. Hmm. Ah! You recognized her then? Of course I recognized her. Who else would wear ruby slippers with those socks? <gasps> the ruby slippers. Why, little girl, you've done me a great service. I shall don the ruby slippers, which will make my powers greater than ever. They're gone! The slippers! What have you done with him? See for yourself. Step forward, Dorothy. Give them back to me or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me back those slippers! Give them back to me! I'm the only one that knows how to use them. They're of no use to you! Give me back those slippers! Keep tight inside of them. 
Their magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. Oh, you stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, Fiddle Faddle, you have no power while I'm here. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. And as for you, my fine young lady, it's true that I can't attend to you here and now as I'd like, but after a suitable period of mourning, oh, I'll have those slippers and my revenge as well. So best try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you eventually, my pretty, and your little dog, too. It's all right, you can get up. She's gone. I'm afraid you've made rather a bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, well, I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether, but which is the way back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. Oh. The Wizard of Oz? Was he good or is he wicked? Oh, very good, but very mysterious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's quite a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? Um, no, I'm afraid I didn't. Well then, you'll have to walk. The Munchkins will see you safely to the border of Munchkinland. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off of your feet for a moment, or you'll be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, but how do I start for the Emerald City? It's always best to start from the beginning, and all you do is follow the yellow brick road. But what happens if I just follow the yellow brick road? Goodbye! My, people come and go so quickly here. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick. Well, now which way do we go? Pardon me, that way's a very nice way. Who said that? Don't be silly, Toto. <laughs> Scarecrows don't talk. It's pleasant down that way, too. That's funny. Wasn't he pointing the other way? Of course, people do go both ways. My, you did say something, didn't you? Well, are you doing that on purpose, or can't you make up your mind? I haven't got a brain, only straw, so I haven't got a mind to make up. Oh, well, how can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know, but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? <laughs> yes, I guess you're right. Well, can't you get down? Down? No. You see, I have a pole stuck up my back. Oh, well, is there any way I can help you? Of course, I'm not very bright about doing things, but perhaps if you just bend the nail down in the back, maybe I'll just slip off. Well, I'll certainly try. With an awful stiff nail. Oh! Oh, oh my, oh. there goes some more of me again. Oh, does it hurt you? Oh, no, I just keep picking it back up and putting it back in again. Oh, oh my, it's good to be free. Oh. oh! Did I scare you? Oh, no, I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you. Well, of course not. I didn't think so. Shoo! Ski-daddle! 
You see, I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around just to eat in my field and laugh in my face. Sad scarecrow swinging on a pole to a blackbird sitting on a fence. Oh, the Lord gave me a soul, but forgot to give me common sense. Said the blackbird, well, 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 what in thunder would you do? Said the scarecrow, twould be pleasing just to reason out the reason of the witchness and the whiteness and the whence. If I had an ounce of common sense, if you had an ounce of common sense, what would you do, scarecrow? I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another Lincoln. If I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why. The oceans near the shore. You can think of things you never thunk before. And then I'd sit and think some more. Oh, God! I would not be just a nothing. My head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry. Life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. What's all this moving we've been doing called Dorothy? Well, it's dancing, Scarecrow. I can dance? Well, sure. Let's do a jazz square. Everyone loves a good jazz square. OK. Oh. <laughs> Almost. <gasps> you did it! Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, I could tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then he'd sit and think some more. Go, go! Gosh, it would be awful pleasing to reason out the reason for things I can't explain. Then perhaps I deserve ya and be even worthy Ya. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Oh, that was wonderful. Well, if our scarecrow back in Kansas could do that, the crows would be scared to pieces. They would? Yes. Where is Kansas? Well, that's where I live, and I want to get back there so badly, I'm going all the way to the Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. You're going to see a wizard? Yes. Well, do you think if I went with you, the wizard would give me some brains? I couldn't say. But even if he didn't, you'd be no worse off than you are now. <sighs> yeah, that's true. Oh, but maybe better not. I've got a witch mad at me, and you might get into some trouble. <laughs> witch, huh? I ain't afraid of no witch. I ain't afraid of nothing. Oh, except a lighted match. Well, I don't blame you for that. <laughs> but I'd face a whole box when with the chance of getting some brains. Look, I won't be in any trouble because I don't need a thing. And I won't try to manage things because I can't think. Won't you take me with you? <sighs> well, of course I will. Hooray! I'm going to get me a brain. Let's oh, go. You're not starting off very well. Oh, I'll try. Really, I will. To Oz? To Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll find he is the wizard of Oz, if ever a wiz there was. If ever a wiz there was, the wizard of Oz is one. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Bye, Scarecrow! Man, I'm gonna miss that old hay bag.
Really? I didn't care for him too much. How's that? Too much of a stuffed shirt. You're hungry, but I thought only crows got hungry. Oh no, Scarecrow, all living things need to eat. I don't need to eat. <gasps> Does that mean I'm not alive? Oh no, Scarecrow, you're the liveliest friend I've ever had. Why, thank you. Just for that, you could have as much of my hay as you like, and then you won't be hungry anymore. Oh, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. So long as I keep my legs well stuffed, I can walk to the Emerald City no matter what shape I'm in up top. Oh, that's very kind of you, Scarecrow, but I don't eat hay. Oh, well, perhaps it's just as well. A little mother field mouse lives in here, and she wouldn't like to be disturbed. Oh, look, apples. Apples? What's apples? In the trees. You mean those little red birds hanging upside down by one leg? Those aren't birds. They're something you eat, and they're delicious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing? Oh, we've been walking a long way, and I was hungry, and... Did you say something? She was hungry. She was hungry? Uh, how would you like it if someone came along and picked something off you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. Come along, Dorothy. You don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you hitting my apples aren't where they ought to be? Oh no, it's just she doesn't like apples with little green worms. Worms? Did he just say we had worms? That's what it sounded like to me. I'll show you how to get apples. Sure you have worms, worms, caterpillars, and probably a bunch of wood lice, too. Ugh, how dare you? Let's give it to them, girls! <laughs> Take that and that! Base slanderer, how do you like them apples? We like them just fine, thank you. I've suddenly twigged. Me too. They've made sacks of us all. I think it's time we bowed out. Why, it's a man! A man made out of tin! What? Yes! Oil can, oil can. Did he say something? Oil can. He said oil can. Look what? Uh, oil can. Uh, oh, here it is. Um, where do you want to be oiled first? Mouth, mouth. He said his mouth. Me, me, my, my, my goodness, I can talk. Oh, oil my arm, please. Oil my elbow. Oh. Oh. Oh, does it hurt you? Yes. No. I've held that axe up for ages. Oh, how'd you ever get like this? Well, when I was flesh and blood like you, I fell in love with a munchkin maiden whose mother hated me. So to stop me from marrying her daughter, she hired the Wicked Witch of the West to put a spell on my axe. So when, I, so when I went to chop down a tree, I chopped off my leg instead. That's terrible. You chopped your leg off? Yes, but by good fortune, I knew of a wonderful tinsmith who made me a new leg as good as the old one. And back I went to work. And you know what happened? Oh, something terrible, I bet. I swung my axe again and dang me if I didn't take off the other leg. You should have gotten a new axe. I guess you're right. But I got me a new leg instead. This time, I chopped off both my arms. Oh, dear. I, I see how you could have managed to chop off one arm How'd you manage to chop off the other? I told you, the axe was enchanted. Oh, of course. See, Dorothy, if I had a brain, I could have worked that one out for myself. Sometimes, I wish I hadn't gotten a new pair of arms from the tinsmith, because the last time I swung my axe was the worst time of all. Oh, I don't want to hear this. What happened? I chopped myself right down the middle. Oh, you poor thing. But the tinsmith gave me a new head and new body, and on the way home, I got caught in a terrible rainstorm and rusted solid. It just wasn't your day, now, was it? Been here ever since. Oh, well, you're perfect now. My neck, my neck. Perfect? Just bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. Beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart? No heart. And since I have no heart, I can never love my munchkin maiden. Oh, tin man, don't cry. You'll rest again. I used to carve her name on every tree. You can say that again. Sad
Got to put a heart inside. Then he banged his hollow chest and cried. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind to human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle. An awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me a balcony above a voice sings low. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. I may be presuming that I could be kind to human. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows. You could stay young and chipper. And I'd lock it with the zipper if I only, if only had a I guess I'm a little rusty yet. Oh, well, why don't you visit the tinsmith again and ask him for a new heart? Oh, no. He went out of business a long time ago. Ran, Ran out, out of tin. tin. Oh, well, why, we're on the way to the Emerald City to get him a brain from the Wizard of Oz. Suppose he could give you a heart, too? No, I suppose the wizard wouldn't give me one when we got there. Oh, but he will. He must. We've come such a long way already. You call that long? Why, you've only just begun! You, you're the one who put the spell on my axe. It certainly chopped you down to size now, didn't it? And now, you're helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her, or I'll stuff a mattress with you, Scarecrow. And you, Tin Man, I'll use you for a beehive! Well, I ain't afraid of you. That just proves you don't have a brain. Allow me to educate you. Here, Scarecrow! Scarecrow, helping the girl reach the Emerald City could be our last burning ambition. <laughs> well, I still ain't afraid of her. I'll see to the wizard, Dorothy, whether I get a brain or not. Stuff a mattress with me. <laughs> I'll see you reach the wizard whether I get a heart or not. Beehive, bah. Watch her try to make a beehive out of me. Oh, you all are the best friends anybody ever had. It's funny, but I feel as if I've known you all the time. But I couldn't have, could I? Well, I don't see how. You weren't around when I was stuffed and sewn together now, were you? And I've been standing over there resting under that tree for the longest of times. Oh, so I wish I could remember. Oh, but it doesn't matter. We know each other now, don't we? That's right. We do. Two Oz? Two Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Find he is a whiz of a whiz, if ever a whiz there was. If ever, oh, ever a whiz there was, the Wizard of Oz is one. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. out into the wild forest. I wouldn't be caught dead in that wild forest. If I grew there, I'd be petrified. I don't like
like this forest. It's dark and creepy. Oh, of course, I'm not very bright about things, but I think it'll get darker before it gets lighter. Oh, do, do you suppose we'll meet any wild animals? Mm, we might. Animals oh. that, uh, that eat straw? Uh, some, but mostly lions and tigers and bears. Lions and tigers. And bears. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, look at that. Put them up. Put them up. Which one are you first? I'll fight you both if you want. I'll fight you with one paw tied behind my back. I'll fight you standing on one foot. I'll fight you with my eyes closed. Oh, pulling an axe on me, eh? Sneaking up on me, eh? Why? Here, here. Go away and let us alone. Oh, scared, huh? Afraid, huh? How long are you gonna stay fresh in that can? <laughs> Square up and fight, you shivering junkyard. Put your hands up, you lopsided bag of hay. Now, see here, lion, that's getting personal. Yeah. Why don't you get up and teach him a lesson? Why don't you teach him? I hardly know him. And I'll get you too, Pee-wee. Oh, oh, oh. oh, shame on you. What'd you do that for? I didn't bite him. No, but you tried to. It's bad enough picking on a straw man, but when you go picking on poor little dogs. Well, you didn't have to go and hit me, did you? Is my nose bleeding? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> My, what a fuss you're making. Well, naturally, when you go around picking on things weaker than you are, why, you're nothing but a great big coward. You're right. I am a coward. I haven't any courage at all. I even scare myself. <laughs> Look at the cycles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> um, well, why don't you try counting sheep? That doesn't do any good. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> Oh, well, that's too bad. We're on our way to see the wizard now to get, to get him a heart. And him a brain. Well, I'm sure he could give you some courage. Well, wouldn't you feel degraded to be seen in the company of a cowardly lion? I would. Oh, no, of course not. Well, gee, that's awfully kind of you. You see, my life has been simply unbearable. Even my family's disowns me. Don't look at me, Papa. Why, when I was a little cub, excuse me. Oh no. When I was a little cub, my father took me on top of a high rock and he said, son, everything the light touches will be yours. I was terrified. Why is that? I'm scared of heights. <laughs> Everything. Well, at least you'll be safe if I go with yous. How's that? No self-respecting wild animal will come anywhere near me. Said a lion, poor neurotic lion, to a miss who listened to him rave. Oh, the Lord made me a lion, but the Lord forgot to make me brave. Then his tail began to curl and wave. Life is sad, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the vim and vibe. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the knife. I'm afraid there's no denying. I'm just a dandelion, afraid I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the knife. Oh, you'd be in your stride, a king down to the core. You could roar the way you've never roared before. And then I'd woof and roar some more. I would show the dinosaurus who's king around the forest, a king they better save. Why, with my regal visa, I could be another Caesar if I only had the knife. 
I'd be brave as a blizzard. I'd be gentle as a lizard. I'd be clever as a gizzard. If the wizard is the wizard who will serve, then I'm sure to get a brain, a heart, a home, the noive. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a whiz of a whiz, if ever a whiz there was. If ever, oh, ever a whiz there was, the wizard of Oz is one. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Depressing is boundless optimism. Happily, it is totally misplaced. Now, how shall I get rid of them? Shall I squash them out like the interfering little bugs they are? Or should I go for something more witty, more creative? The bug alternative is attractive, but messy. So witty and creative wins the day. Aha! Something with poison in it, I think with poison in it, but attractive to the eye and soothing to the smell. Poppies, poppies, poppies! Soon their lethal lullaby will put them to sleep forever. Then the ruby slippers will finally be mine! Oh, this yellow brick road seems to go on forever. If you're tired, Dorothy, we could take a shortcut. The road seems to curve around this poppy field. We could cut through and pick up on the other side. Let's go. Oh, I've never seen such beautiful poppies. I think poppies are my favorite flower. Oh, the smell is so wonderful. And the singing. I can hear it too. It sounds just like the heavenly semaphores. Oh. Oh, 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 thanks. Achoo! Oh. Oh. oh, what is it? I can't walk anymore. I'm so sleepy. Here, give us your hands, Dorothy, and we'll pull you along. Oh, no, I have to rest for just a minute. Here, Toto, we'll have a little nap together. Oh, no, 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 you can't rest now. We have to go on. Come to think of it, 40 winks wouldn't be a bad idea. Don't Whoa. you start to. It's the poppies. That's what's doing it. Don't cry. You'll rest yourself again. This is a spell, this is. It's the Wicked Witch. What do we do? Help! Help! It's no use crying now. <laughs> no one will hear you. Help! Help! I hear you, Scarecrow. And although I can't undo the magic of the Wicked Witch, maybe a little magic of my own will save the day. It's snowing. Oh, oh. Oh, unusual weather we're having, ain't it? Oh, no. He's rusted again. Give me the oil can, quick. Well, I don't have the oil can. I just realized something. What? I'm sitting on it. Oh, man, those poppies are powerful stuff. I didn't feel a thing. Oh. Dorothy, you're awake. My white magic has done its work. Journey's end is now in sight. Oh, the Emerald City. We're almost there at last, at last! You're out of the woods, you're out of the dark, you're out of the night. Step into the sun, step into the light. Keep straight ahead for the most glorious place on the face of the earth or the sky. Hold on to your breath, hold on to your heart, hold on to your home. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. 
He really must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like that. Well, come on then. What are we waiting for? On to Oz. To Oz. To Oz. We're off to see the wizard. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of at them. Ring the bell, Scarecrow. Let them know we're here. All right. Here goes. Who rang that bell? Don't do that. We did. Can't you read? Read what? The notice. What, what notice? notice? It's on the door. As plain as the nose on my face, it's, uh, uh it's, uh, just a moment. Bell out of order, please knock. Oh, that's more like it. Now state your business. We, we want, want to see, see the, the wizard. wizard. The wizard? But nobody can see the Great Oz. Nobody's ever seen the Great Oz. Even I've never seen him. Well then. How do you know there is one? Uh, because... Because... Because, 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 because... If there wasn't a wizard, why would you be here in the first place? Oh, please, sir, I have to see the wizard. The good witch has not sent me. Prove it! She's wearing the ruby slippers she gave her. What are oh. those? Oh, well, bust my buns. Why did you say that in the first place? That's a horse of a different color. Hey, who's he calling a horse? Why, if he wasn't on the other side of that door? He's coming out. He'd be on this side. <laughs> Welcome to the Emerald City. Welcome. Thank you. Have you guys traveled far? Oh, just the longest of ways. Oh, well, believe me, every step is worth it. Have you any idea just how wonderful this place really is? I've been trying to imagine it, but I haven't got a brain. They said I'd fall in love with it, if I had a heart. A place where you don't need courage, because there's nothing there is to scare you. Is there? There's a garden spot, I'm told, where it's never too hot and it's never too cold. Where you're never too young and you're never too old. Where you're never too thin or tall. And you're never, never, never too, too, too anything at all. It's all true. Oh, we're not too mad and we're not too sane and we don't compare and we don't complain. All we do is just sit high. Cause it's all so, so, so downright, right? Ah, 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 oh, 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 and a couple of tra-la-las. That's how we laugh a day away in the merry old lands of Oz. Buzz, 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 chirp, 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 and a couple of la di das That's how the crickets crick all day in the merry old land of Oz. We get up at 12 and start to work at 1. Take an hour for lunch and then add two words on. It's all good fun! Ha, 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 ho, 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 and a couple of tra-la-las. That's how we laugh the day away in the merry old land of Oz. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho, and a couple of tra la la's. That's how we laugh the day away with a ha ha ha, ha ha ha, in the merry old land of Oz. Follow me.
our grass. That's how we keep feeling we're feeling a merry old land of us. We can make a dimple smile out of a frown. Can you even dye my eyes to match my gown? Uh -huh. Jolly old town. Oh, why, hello, ladies. <laughs> Clip, 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 clear, we give the roughest lines. That's soy air of savoir faire in the merry old land of Oz. Ah, 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 ho, 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 ho. That's how we laugh the day away in the merry old land of Oz. We get up at 12 and start to work at 1. Take it out for lunch and then at 2 we're done. Jolly good fun. Ha, 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 ho, 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 ho. With it. What's it say? What's it say? Surrender, Dorothy. Ah! <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy. The wizard will explain it. To the wizard! To the wizard! To the wizard! Here, here. Everyone stand back. The great and powerful Oz has got matters well in hand. I hope. And so you can all go home, and there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Go on, the wizard will take care of everything. Go on. Didn't you hear me? I said go home. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, sir. I have to see the wizard right away, all four of us. Orders are nobody can see the wizard. Not nobody, not know how. Oh, but please. You promised you'd take us to the wizard. Yeah, and I got appointment it just for the occasion. Not nobody, not know how. You just got to make him see Dorothy. Dorothy? The witches, Dorothy? In person. Well, that makes a difference. I'll announce you at once. Did you hear that? He'll announce us at once. I've as good as got my brain. And I can fairly hear my heart beating. Oh, I'll be home in time for supper. In an hour, I'll be king of the forest. Long live the king. <laughs> We're king of the forest. Not queen, not duke, not prince. My regal robes of the forest would be satin, not cotton, not shins. I'd command each thing, be it fish or fowl, with a wolf and a wolf, and a royal growl. Woof. As I click my heels, all the trees would kneel, and the mountains bow, and the bulls kowtow, and the sparrow would take wing. If I, if I, were king. Each rabbit would show respect to me. The chipmunks genuflect to me. Though my tail would lash, I would show compassion for every underling. If I, if I were king, just Monarch of all you survey, 
ha, 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 knock. Oh, shucks, folks. Your Majesty, if you were king, you wouldn't be afraid of anything? Not nobody. Not no how. Not even a rhinoceros? Imposterous. Well, how about a hippopotamus? Why, I'd trash him from top to bottomus. Well, suppose you met an elephant. I'd wrap him up in elephant. What if it were a brontosaurus? I'd show him who was king of the forest. How? How? Well, courage. What makes a king out of a slave? Courage. What makes the flag on the mast wave? Courage. What makes the elephant charge his tusk in the misty mist or the dusky dusk? What makes the muskrat guard his musk? Courage. What makes the sphinx the seventh wonder? Courage. What makes the dawn come up like thunder? Courage. What makes the hot and tot so hot? What puts the ape in apricot? What have they got that I ain't got? Courage. courage. You can say that again, huh? Cause courage is the thing of things. With courage, I'd be king of kings. And, and the whole year round, you'd I'd be hailed and crowned by every living thing. Bye. The wizard says, go away. Go, go away? away? Oh, but surely. He is deaf to all appeals. The wizard has spoken. But, but, oh, looks like we came a long way for nothing. Oh, and I was so happy. I thought I was on my way home. Oh, don't cry, Dorothy. We'll get you to the wizard somehow. My Annie was so good to me. I never appreciated it, running away and hurting her feelings. Professor Marble says she was sick. She made me die, and it's all my fault. I'll never forgive myself, never. <laughs> Please don't cry anymore. I'll get you the wizard somehow, I promise. Oh, thank you. It's all right. I knew Nanny and myself once. This way, follow me. Oh, after you, pal. You too, madam. <laughs> Tin man. <laughs> wait a minute, fellas. I really don't want to see the wizard this bad. I better wait for you outside. What's the matter? The wizard's going to give you some courage. I'd be too scared to ask him for it. Oh, come on, lion. We'll be scared together. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Somebody pulled my tail. <laughs> you did that yourself. I... Oh. I'm such a butter pause. <laughs> this, this way, this way, step right up. The great Oz awaits you. Oh, tell me when it's over. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, I wanna go home. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Who are you? Who are you? Silence! Oh, Jiminy Crickets! The great and powerful Oz knows why you have come. Step forward, Tin Man. Oh. You dare to come to me for a heart, do you? You clinking, clanking, clattering collection of caliginous junk. Uh, why, 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 yes, sir, Your Honor. You see, a while back, we were walking down the yellow brick road and... and Quiet! Oh. And you, Scarecrow, have the effrontery to ask for a brain. You billowing bale of bovine fodder. Yes, your majesty. I mean your excellency. I mean your wizardry. Enough! Ah, and you, oh. lion. Well? Oh. oh, lion! Oh, shame on you! Frying him like that when he came to you for help! Silence, whippersnapper! 
The beneficent Oz has every intention of granting her request. What did he say? Oh, are you all right? Just a little deaf, but what did he say? He's going to help us after all. He is? But first, you must prove yourselves worthy by performing a very small task. A small task? Is that all? You name it, and it's half done. Bring me the broomstick of the Witch of the West. But, 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 but to do that, we'll have to kill her to get it. Bring me her broomstick, and I'll grant her a quest. Now go! But, 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 but what if she kills us first? I said, go! Don't worry, I'm already gone! <laughs> Given up this crazy scheme, I never should have let you see the wizard. Oh, but I'm glad you did. How else would I have gotten back to Kansas? You don't have to worry about us, Dorothy. That's right. We're not going after the witch empty-handed. You're, you're going to say that again. Which way to her castle? No one knows for sure. You mean, no one's ever gone there? Oh, yes. Plenty folk have gone there before, but no one's ever come back. There's no yellow brick road to follow now. There's no road at all to the land of the Winkies. Winkies? What's a Winkies? Oh, once there are people very like you and me, but then the wicked witch made them her slaves. I hope the same doesn't happen to you. Oh, so do I. Just head west where the sun sets. Is that the best way to find the witch? Oh, don't worry, Dorothy. When the wicked witch knows you're in the land of the Winkies, she'll find you. Good luck. <laughs> Sometimes it's a good thing not to have a brain. But I haven't the wit to be scared. And I haven't the heart to fail. And I haven't said goodbye to the wizard. How can you desert Dorothy now? Well, I could stay here. That's one way of doing it. Shame on you. You're even more a coward than I thought. Easy for you to say. You're made of straw. And you're made of tin. I'm only weak flesh. Very weak. Verging on flabby. That's all right, Lion. You can stay here if you'd like. Oh, I'd like. Oh, how I'd like. But I guess if you really need me, I'll go with yous. That's more like it. Stout fellow. Ready to go, Dorothy? Best foot forward. Decisions, decisions. Come on, Lion. I'm coming, I'm coming. Scarecrow's not the only one who needs a new brain. I hate her. I hate her not. I hate her. I hate her not. I hate, 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 hate her. Now I understand why the poppies failed me. Fate ordained that Oz himself deliver the mellifluous little baggage into my territory. But how to bring her here before me? Winkies, Winkies, come forth. That loathsome dirge! Well, since you put your foot through our drum, how else can we keep in step? What does it mean, anyway? You mean, yo we yo, yo ho, yo we yo, yo ho, yo we yo. Next time I enslave a whole nation, I must check out their intelligence level first. Nico! Nico! Where's the commander of my aerobatic apes? There you are, my simian minion. I have an important task for you. My enemies are about to enter the haunted forest. I want you to rouse your men and snatch the sickening little girl and her equally nauseating little dog. <gasps> exhausted? What do you mean you're exhausted? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll conjure up a spell to take the fight right out of her. Now. Which of my creepy, crawly creations shall I send to plague her? The flipper ticket? 
No. The fly by night. No. Aha, I have it. The jitterbug. The jitterbug. Well, you may look at me with that terrified face, but there's no more infectious bug in my book of spells. Once bitten, they can never stop dancing till they drop. And when they do, you shall be there to scoop up the little brat and the little brute and bring them both to me. Now go, do your bidding. Fly, fly, fly! Soon those darling little red slippers will grace my dainty feet. Does anyone know where any of us are? We, we passed a notice a while back. You mean the one that said, welcome to the haunted forest? No, the one that said, if you've gone this far, you're lost. Oh, well, here's another notice. I hope this one says something a little more reassuring. I'd turn back if I were you. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, no, no. I believe there's spooks around here. That's silly. Spooks? That's ridiculous. But don't you believe in spooks? No. Why only fools? Whoa. Oh! Oh, Tin Man! Oh, are you? Are you all right? I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, so do I. Did you just hear what I just heard? That noise don't come from an ordinary bird. It may be just a cricket or a critter in the trees. It's given me the jitters in the joints around the knees. I think I see a shadow when it's fuzzy and it's furry. I haven't got a brain, but I think I ought to worry. I haven't got a heart, but I feel a palpitation. As monarch of the forest, I don't like the situation. Are you gonna stand around and let him fill us full of horror? I'd like to roar him down, but I think I lost my roar. It's a who's it's. It's a who's it's. It's a what's it's. It's a what's it's. Who's that? Who's there? Who's where? Beware. Who's that hiding in the treetops? Is that rascal? The jitterbug. Should you catch him buzzing round you, keep away from the jitterbug. Oh, the bees and the bees and the bats and the trees have a terrible, horrible buzz. But the bees and the bees and the bats and the trees couldn't do what the jitterbug does. So just be careful of that rascal. Keep away from the jitterbug. The jitterbug. Oh, the bees and the bees and the bats and the trees have a terrible, horrible buzz. But the bees and the bees and the bats and the trees can do what the jitterbug does. So just be careful of that rascal. Keep away from the jitterbug. The jitterbug. The jitterbug. The jitterbug. The jitterbug. Oh no! The jitter, oh the bug, oh the jitter bug, do I do I do I do I? I'm a twitter in the throat. Oh the critters got me dancing on a thousand toes. There she blows. <laughs> Who's that hiding in the treetops? It's that rascal, Jitterbug, 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 
your paws off me, you dirty ape! job we did of protecting Dorothy. Oh. Oh. What, happened? what happened to you? Well, first they took my legs and they threw them over there. And then they took my arm and they threw it over there. Scarecrow, that's you all over. Yeah, pull yourself together. I would, but I can't reach my legs. Oh, I'll do it. And then we'll go find Dorothy. That's right. Sure. And the lion will lead us. Right leg or an arm. <laughs> ah! There. Ooh. Wait, I'm going to lead us? That's right. That's right. I, 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 I'm going to lead us into the forces of evil? That's right. All right. I'll do it for Dorothy. Wicked witch or no wicked witch. Gods and no gods. I'll tear them apart. I don't know. Oh, I may go down, but at least I'll go down fighting. There's just one thing I want you fellas to do. What's that? What's that? Talk me out of it. Good little girl, this way, right here. Oh, I trust you had a pleasant flight. Oh, why are you doing this? Oh, why am I doing this? I want those slippers, and I want them now! Oh, but, but the good witch of the north told me not to. Very well. We're going to take your precious little dog to the deepest point of the river and drown him. Oh, no, please, please don't. That's a good little girl. I knew you'd see reason. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Run, Toto! Run! Run! Run, Toto! Run! He got away. He got away from you. Which is more than you'll ever do. Fool that I am. I should have remembered. The slippers will never come off. As long as you're alive. You see this, darling? is how much longer you've got left to be alive. And it isn't long, my pretty. Just long enough for me to devise an unpleasant but wildly entertaining death for you. Of course, there is one road of escape, the window. But it's a long way down and the rocks are sharp. So if you do decide to go this way, please be a dear and leave the slippers on the windowsill. It'll save us from having to take them off your corpse. So oh, how can anybody be just nasty, mean, and cruel? Oh, lots and lots of practice! Dorothy? Dorothy, where are you? Oh, here I am. It's me. I'm here in Oz. I'm locked in the witch's castle. I'm trying to get home to you. Here I am. I'm so frightened. Here I am. Oh, here am. Come back. Come back, please, here am. Please come back. I'll give you any am, my pretty.
Dorothy's in that awful place? Oh, I hate to think of her in there. Don't cry. We've got to get her out somehow. Don't cry. We haven't got the oil can with us, and you're squeaking it up as it is. But they say it's got a thousand rooms. How will we ever find which one she's in? Oh, look, it's Toto. Toto. Oh, no, Toto. He'll lead us to Dorothy. I was trying to call him. He wasn't coming to you. Guys, we still got to get into the castle. Do you think he'd be polite dropping in like this? Oh. Look out! Oh. Who's them? Who's them? I think I've got a plan how to get in there. He's got a plan. It might not work. It might not work. But it's got a chance. But it's got a chance. Only thing is, it's very, very dangerous. What do you say? I say, anyone else got a plan? Let's hear the scarecrows first. Okay, first we have to get a hold of three winky uniforms. Where are we going to find three winky uniforms? <laughs> Fellas. I don't know, but the whole plan depends on it. Three winky uniforms. <laughs> Fellas, I don't think we'll have to look far. Why's that? They're right behind us. <gasps> get off me. Oh, so oh. How dare you! Give me that! Oh, put the bed on me anyway. Oh, oh here they come. Come here, Toto. Wait, wait, wait. Does this jacket make me look fat? Oh, it was a question. upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. My troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. back while I broke open the door with my axe. Oh, hurry. The hourglass is almost empty. Oh, Toto! Oh, you came back. Oh, you came back. Hurry. We've got no time to lose. But we can't go out the way we came. Uh, what about the window? Oh, the cliff is sheer. Don't worry. I'll hang on to my claws, and you hang on with my tail. Oh, you're wonderful, all of you. Oh, I just hope my courage holds out. We, we hope, hope your tail holds, holds out. out. Oh, right, right. Okay, okay. Back it up, back it up. Careful, that's the royal hiney. Oh, one, two. Going so soon, we won't hear of it. Well, we winkies. Oh, I think we've outstayed our welcome. Oh. Ring around, oh. Oh. see a pocket full of fears. Oh. The sands of time have run out for all of you. The last to go will see the first three before her. And you're amazing little mutts too. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Shall be the first to go. Lion? Girl? Tin Man? No. My broom is chosen. Dare go! No! no, 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 no. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you want to be my old flame? Oh, stop it! Can't you see he's frightened? Oh, I'll get around to you 
eventually, Miss Mouth. Meanwhile, watch your little friend go up in smoke. Oh, what? It's too late, Scarecrow. You're all burned no. out. No, I won't let you. Ah! You cursed brat! What have you done? I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world, what a world. Who could have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? She's, she's dead. You've killed her. Oh, I didn't mean to kill her. It's just, she was going to set him on fire. All hail Dorothy, the wicked witch is dead. All hail Dorothy, the wicked witch is dead. You're now our queen. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, but I have to get back to Kansas. The broomstick, may we have it? Please, take it with you. Oh. Now we can take this back to the Wizard of Oz, and he'll let me go home. Yo, we, yo, the wicked witch is dead. 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 Yo, we, yo. Step forward if you dare. Do I believe my eyes? Why have you come back? Um, well, we've done what you asked us. We brought you the broomstick of the Wicked Witch. Um, we melted her. Oh, so you liquidated her, eh? Ha ha ha! Very resourceful. Yes, so we'd like you to keep our promise to us. Not so fast, not so fast. I'll have to give the matter a little thought. Go away and come back tomorrow. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said, come back tomorrow. But, but, but you've had plenty of time already. Yeah. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures. Think yourselves lucky I'm giving you an audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. The great Oz has spoken. Now go. Toto, come out of there. I said go. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great and powerful Oz uh, has spoken. Who are you? Why, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You are? Uh, well, I don't believe you. No, I, I'm afraid it's true. There's no other wizard except for me. You humbug! Yeah! Yes, that's exactly so. I'm a humbug. Oh, you're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. But, but what about the heart you promised Tin Man? Well, I... Yeah, uh, it's Scarecrow's brain. brain. Why, anybody can have a brain. That's a very mediocre commodity. Back where I come from, we have universities where men go to become great thinkers. And when they come out, they think deep thoughts and with no more brains than you have. But they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma. Therefore, for... By the authority vested in me, by the Universitatis Comitiatum E Pluribus Unum, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Yes, that's Doctor of Thinkology. The sum of the square root of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Oh joy, rapture, I have a brain. How can I ever thank you? Well, you can't. As for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger, you have no courage. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes, and once a year, they take their fortitude out of the mothballs and parade it down the main street of the city. And with no more courage than you have, but they have one thing you haven't got, a medal. Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, and conspicuous bravery against the wicked witches, I hereby award you the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, shucks, folks. I'm speechless. <laughs> and as for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart, you don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will be never be made practical until they are made unbreakable. Oh, but, but I still want one. Back where I come from, we have men who do nothing all day but good deeds. They are called filler, filler, uh, good deed doers. And their hearts are no greater than yours, but they have one thing you haven't got, a testimonial. Therefore, 
for your kindness. I take pleasure at this time in presenting you with a small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. It ticks. Dorothy, my heart, it ticks. Listen, listen. Oh. Read what my medal says. Read what it says. Awarded for courage. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Oh, they're all so wonderful. Hey, what about Dorothy? Yeah, Dorothy well, next. Yes, Dorothy. Well, you forced me into a cataclysmic decision. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. Oh, will you? Could you? Oh, but are you a clever enough man wizard to manage it? Child, you cut me to the quick. I'm an old Kansas man myself. Premier balloonist par excellence to the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company where one day I was performing feats of the stratospheric skill never before attempted by civilized man, when the balloon failed to return back to the fair. It did? Were you frightened? Frightened? You are talking to a man who was laughed in the face of death, sneered at doom, and chuckled at catastrophe. I was petrified. Then suddenly the wind shifted, and I had the balloon floated down to the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz the First Wizard Deluxe. Deluxe? from the French pertaining to luxury. Well, there were a few luxuries that went with the job, but I took it anyway, retaining the balloon against the advent of a quick getaway. And that conveyance, my dear Dorothy, the balloon is ready for the flight. You and I will return to the land of E Pluribus Unum. Step this way. Citizens of Oz, I, your wizard, per Ardua at Alta, am about to embark on a hazardous and technically unexplainable journey into the outer stratosphere. To confer, converse, and otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. And I hereby decree that until that time, if any, the scarecrow shall rule in my stead by virtue of his highly superior brains. Assisted by the tin man, by virtue of his magnificent heart, and the lion, by virtue of his courage. Thank you, my friends. Now I think it's time to cast off. Climb aboard, Dorothy. Climb aboard. Climb aboard, Missy. Well, the wind's still in your favor. Oh, oh wait, where's Toto? Oh, I can't go without him. I'll find him. Don't let go of the rope. Help! Help! This is absolutely no. unprecedented. The it's balloon's too going heavy. up. The balloon's going up. Here's your dog. Oh. oh, come back. Oh, you can't go without me. I'm sorry, youth, my dear. I can't come back. Oh, please. I don't know how it works. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. That idiot guard just ruined my exit. get home. Then stay with us, Dorothy. Yes, we don't want you to leave. Oh. Don't you love us, Dorothy? Well, you know I do, but there's people back at home that I love more, and I'll never see them again. Never. Never is a very long time, Dorothy. Oh, can you help me? You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. I did? But why didn't you tell her sooner? She wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? Oh, well, I learned that, that it isn't enough just to want to see Annie M and Uncle Henry. But if I ever go looking for my heart's desire, I'll not go no farther than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, then I never really lost it to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is. But, but that's so easy. I should have thought of it for you. And I should have felt it in my heart. Yeah. If I'd had the courage of my convictions. No, no, she had to learn it for herself. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto too? Toto too. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to say goodbye. Goodbye, Tin Man. Oh, don't cry, you rest so dreadfully. Now I know I've got a heart, because it's breaking. I know it isn't right, but I'm gonna miss the way you used to holler for help when you were scared. When you go, I'm gonna do a little more hollering. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm gonna miss you most of all. You were my first friend here. Well, having a brain don't make part in an ease here. Bye, Dorothy. I'll think of you always. Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready before I change my mind. Stay here forever. 
Now close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and repeat to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. One. There's no place like home. Two. There's no place like home. Goodbye, Dorothy. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Wake up, honey. There's no place like home. It's AM, darling. There's no place like home. Oh, AM, it's you. Yes, darling. Here. Hello? Anybody home? I heard the kid got stuck in the store. Oh. Well, she seems all right now. Yeah, we thought she left us there for a while. Oh, but I did leave you, Uncle Henry. That's just the trouble. And I tried to get back to you for days and days. There, there. Lie quiet now. You just had a bad dream. Remember me? Your old pal Hunk? Scarecrow! Who the heck's Scarecrow? You lost all your stuffing. Stuffing? Oh, and what happened to the field mouse in your stomach? You gave me more than a field mouse. I had a whole basket full of kittens in there. And me? Hickory? Oh, I couldn't forget you. Oh, don't cry, Hickory. You'll rust again. Oh, but what about... See? Couldn't forget my face, could you? Oh, of course not. You look braver than I remember. Oh, but weren't you worried I was gone? Oh, and you, and you, you, and you were there. Oh. Well, doesn't anybody believe me? Of course we believe you, Dorothy. Oh, well, I remember some of it wasn't very nice. Most of it was beautiful. And all the same, all I kept telling everybody is I want to go home. And they sent me home. Doesn't anybody believe me? Oh, it's all the same. Anyways, Hoda, we're home. And this is my room, and you're all here. And I'm le never leaving ever, ever again. Because I love you all so much. And oh, NEM, there's no place like home. <laughs> 